Um, hello. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about um, my poster. It's poster number two, and you can also look for this research. It's coming out in uh, Neuroimage Clinical pretty soon, hopefully. So our study sought to understand differences in the microstructural abnormalities that we see in different classes of white matter. So as we've, as we've heard from many presenters today, um, white matter is at particular risk for damage and mild traumatic brain injury. And so we decided that we were going to split that white matter up. So on the, how do I do this? On the top left here, you see um, essentially how we split up our white matter. So we split it up into deep uh, long range fibers and superficial short range fibers. And the reason that we did this is because we have uh, reasons to suspect that they may be differentially vulnerable due to their rates of development, and uh, we're looking at a youth population, and also because of the fact that they pass through uh, changes in uh, tissue density. Um, and so essentially what we did is we uh, did group comparisons as well as comparisons with attention. Um, so these are our groups. Uh, we looked at a subset of individuals from the PNC, or the Philadelphia Neurodevelopmental Cohort. So we had 63 children with mild traumatic brain injury and then two control groups. So we had your typical healthy controls with no history of brain injury and no psychopathology. And then we also wanted to look at a psychopathology matched group to try and get at some of the confounds that we might see in brain differences due to symptoms that are common post-TBI. And so essentially, our score looked at abnormalities in FA or fractional anisotropy. And so we see these results here. So essentially, we saw what you might expect. In our TBI group, which is this one, we have more voxels with low FA, so more tissue abnormality. Um, and then just the same when we look at um, voxels with high FA. Uh, you can come to my poster for more details on this. And then uh, same thing in the deep white matter. And then here, when we look at our relationship with response time, we see that there is this positive relationship between um, response time and the number of superficial white matter voxels with low FA, uh, suggesting that the slower your responses to an attention task, the worse you perform, the more of this abnormality you have. You can come to my poster for more questions.